Hello, everyone. Every time I go to close up, John just keeps asking me another question. So his question today, or his second question today was, let's talk about property development and the people that are getting into the industry. So my advice would be generally that little fish are sweet. Start off with something small uh, and be able to manage it. And there are plenty of programs now that give you um, feasibility structures that you can do fees on get your quotes done, those sorts of things. But most importantly, there's an old Italian saying that profit's in the purchase. Now, we're in a market where some markets have slid back and some haven't. One of the things that I've always found really good, for, especially for your first time developers, is buying something where you can detach the backyard, uh, not necessarily in a, a bad lax format, but I always find that corner blocks are probably would be my first go-to for the first-time developer where you can easily cut off the backyard. It's a lot less cost. It's a lot easier to fund. It's a lot easier to manage your builders. Generally speaking, what happens now is doing the owner-builder thing is sort of out the window a little bit. It's a lot harder than it used to be because of the cost overruns, and you're best off getting a builder that can give you a gross maximum price. It's a lot easier when it's only one small dwelling. Um, in, in, in retrospect, in some cases, we probably at Bivcorp should be doing more of that, but we have a, a, a very global view on residential real estate. So we do everything from cabins to upmarket residential housing and basically everything in between. For you first-time developers, you know, multi-res unit developments are generally really good. There is a very strong sway from the buying market to buying units. It's probably stronger than it ever has been beforehand. They are a lot easier to fund from the banks as well. So, you know, my, my tip for the day from John's question would be buy a corner site and divide it in two and keep the original house, do it up and sell it off.